Hey guys, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of June collective reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So collective, when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I heard was... I Keep Forgetting by Michael McDonald. But here's the thing. It was a flip to it, okay? The the lyrics are, I keep forgetting. But what I heard was, I can't forget. Again, I have to say this because there'll be people in the comment section like, that's not what he said. I know. I'm telling you all what I channel as far as the message. The name of the song is, I keep forgetting. But I heard, I can't forget, okay? And then when I heard that, when I kept hearing the rearrangement of those lyrics, I heard, why are you holding on so tight? You have to let go to grow. So there's something that a lot of you all are holding on to. And I'm going to tell you, it, it made itself very abundantly clear over and over again when I did the shuffles that this has to do with your workplace and your love life. Okay. Whatever it is that's holding you back is holding you back in a major, major, major way. It's not something small. It's, it's, it's affecting multiple areas in your life. And I feel like if this message, if, if this resonates with you already, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I'm getting a message, like a love. I'm, I'm definitely getting like something in regards to someone that you were either married to, or you wanted to marry, or have this long term life with. You felt like this person was your soulmate. This person did something so terribly awful that you almost detest love, denounce the love of anybody in the future because it's like this person really did they did the big one on you i'm not because the energy i'm picking up i'm not saying that you're being dramatic okay if this applies to you i feel like this person really did something real dirty i i, I get a couple messages with you know you help this person get on their feet you help this person get a job you may have even helped them run a job that they started from scratch and you were very there like literally every step of the way and then the moment that they were financially stable they took off May have even, you know, got with someone else. I mean, did you dirty? Didn't care about you. Didn't care about the children. If there was no children, because I'm getting a situation where there was children involved for some and none for the others, okay? I just feel like, and even if it's not somebody who runs their own business, I literally get like this person was down on their luck and you were very supportive. You were there for them. And then the moment that they got back on their feet and everything was stable, they acted like you didn't do anything to assist them. They, they acted like you weren't in their corner the whole time. And I feel like a lot of you all, if that is your situation, you are still holding on to that. And again, I want to say, why are you holding on so tight? You have to let go to grow. I know that's easier said than done. But again, this person has moved on. Meanwhile, you're still in this, in this abysmal, you know, place of like heartbreak and sorrow and grief. And longing for answers. Because I am also getting that someone's longing for answers. Someone's longing for truth. Someone's longing for an apology. I feel like the main way for you to heal is to realize you may not ever get that apology. And even if you do, really think about it. It doesn't matter because they knew what they were doing. Whether you want that apology or not, they knew what they were doing. They intentionally did it. It was like they mapped it out. They planned it out in their head. And they knew what their intentions were. You did things in a place of love. You did things in a place of wanting to build and evolve with this person. You're not the one who's going to receive this this heavy karma because they're going to get heavy karma. I'm going to tell you that right now. I can feel it very strong. They're going to get heavy karma. Immediately when I thought about that energy, it made me think about, um, was it Diary? Diary of a Mad Black Woman. How Helen was there for Charles and then, you know, he thought he was in a highlight, the pinnacle of his life. Somebody's name could be Helen, somebody's name could be Charles. First, middle, last. Put it where it applies. But... He, she, you know, she was there. She was very supportive and she, she felt like, you know, that was the love of her life and they were going to be together. She was very doting on him on the outside. Everyone felt like they were the perfect couple. This man had a whole different family on the side. And when he was at the highlight and the pinnacle of his career, he kicked her to the curve and, and literally dr physically drugged this woman out of his house, their house. Okay. To move the other woman in. And then he ended up getting injured. He ended up getting shot and attacked. Because he was like a high, you know, popular attorney. He ended up getting shot to the point where he was paralyzed for a bit. And then the woman that he cheated on his wife with was like, oh, no, I can't do nothing with him. He's paralyzed. He can't do this. He can't do that. I don't want him. So he thought that he was going to leave the woman who was by his side through everything with his growing practice and everything for another woman. And then the moment that his life was in shambles, 
that other woman left him and all she cared about was what she can get financially. Somebody's going to deal with that type of situation. I'm being serious. I'm seeing that very clearly. Like if this person did you dirty, it may look like life is so perfect right now. And I'm not wishing anything negative on anyone. I'm telling you what I'm seeing visually. Okay. If this person did that to you, karma is going to be heavy for them. I mean, heavy, 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 heavy. Okay. So Oh, the person who sings that song is Michael McDonald. Mick, Michael McDonald happens to be an Aquarius. So you could be dealing with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual. Also, Jupiter. You can be an Aquarius, or this could have happened in Aquarius season of this year, okay? An Aquarius season is January, February time frame. So that may resonate for you all also. Now, just listen to the, the hook of the song. I keep forgetting we're not in love anymore. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting things will never be the same again. I keep forgetting how you made it so clear. I keep forgetting. Okay, I'm gonna go back to what I said. And the song he's saying, I keep forgetting. I keep hearing, I can't forget. Okay. So again, I can't forget. And I know it may sound like the same, but I'm telling you, it's it's really not because it's like I keep forgetting. Yeah, that means in your mind you're still trying to see it as potentially coming back together or something being resolved or some type of reconciliation. What I'm getting is like, I can't forget. Like I know, okay, that we're not in love anymore. I know things will never be the same again. I know that you made this very clear, but I can't forget that. So it's like this person, if they didn't say it physically with their words, they said it with their actions. And it's like, you can't forget how this person did you. Now, also I'm going to say this is in regards to someone's environment as far as their workplace as well so say for instance you have worked for this job and i mean you have missed holiday times you know celebrations and things with your family and you have put everything on the line for this job so you can get to the next level i'm getting something with seven somebody could be um celebrating a seven year anniversary or in july there could be like some type of anniversary for that you know that placement in that job and or also there could have been something telling you like oh you're going to get this position in july we're just trying to wait for this other person to leave i feel like somebody else is going to get that position okay and if that's not the and if it's one of those situations where you've been with this place for seven years it's like yes they keep promising 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 and they're getting hard labor out of you. All your time, energy, your family may have taken a back burner. You may have wanted to go back to school, but it was like the job demanded so much of your time that schooling wasn't necessary or you didn't feel like you could fit into your schedule. I feel like something is going to become abundantly clear. These, this place of employment don't give a damn about you. And so you're going to need to have to, again, like I said, why are you holding on so tight? You have to let go to grow. You may have been holding on so tight because you were looking forward to that new title, that new position. That, that that raise some type of increase as far as your income. I don't feel like they're going to give it. And I feel like they always had the intentions of giving that position to someone else. And also they were, you know, blowing steam up your ass. To be quite honest with you, that's the message that I'm getting. And you guys see I'm, I'm being extremely transparent and abundantly clear, okay, with what I'm picking up here. So I definitely feel like it's some BS. They know what they're doing. They know their intentions. And, and they're kind of like dilly dallying if you will they're playing they're playing the games and as far as that goes especially with a work environment so i am getting that message for you guys also now it's, it's very interesting because i also got for you guys the spirit animal the an the um elephant now keep in mind the name of the song is i keep forgetting you know one thing they say about elephants the elephants have the most incredible memory they don't forget much of anything okay so let me read off the messages for the spirit animal the elephant the elephant is associated with luck prosperity, strength to remove obstacles, wisdom, long life, memory, and vitality. Now, also, immediately when I was thinking about that, it made me think about, <laughs> again, the song incorporated with even the messages with the I keep forgetting. Again, I heard I can't forget. It made me think about, and I don't know if you guys have seen this, and I will leave this in the description box up under the video. There was a story that happened, what was it, June, June 10th of 2022. I have to look it up for you guys because... It's something it was something deep with that situation. There was an elephant that killed this seventy year old uh, unalive. Let me say that for YouTube, okay? Unalived this seventy year old woman, and nobody knows what she did to the elephant, but that elephant was out for her, okay? And this was in India, so someone could be from India, somebody's name could be India. Um, but they unalived this seventy year old woman, and then on the day of her funeral, bombarded and trampled into the funeral home to 
pummel her remains. And it was like, what did this woman do to that elephant? Because that elephant found her on the day of her funeral to continue with the pummeling. So just the fact that I'm thinking, I, I know this sounds a bit aggressive, but follow me with this. Continue with the pummeling. Like I said, I feel like some of you guys are pummeling and beating on yourself by continuously staying in this energy. You have to let this go. And again, I know that's easier said than done, especially when you have invested so much of your life. But again, I'm going to say, if nothing helps you move on, think about the fact that you're still standing in this place, dealing with those emotions and feelings, and this other person has moved on. But keep in mind, back to the story with the woman and the elephant, karma going to be something else for this person. Karma going to whoop that ass. And I mean it. I'm telling you, this elephant unalived this woman and then turned around and found out where her funeral would be and, and tore that motherfucker up. I mean, really did a number on her. So I'm telling you right now, don't think for one second that karma don't do his rounds. Karma makes his rounds. And karma's going to make his rounds on that person. I'm telling you right now. It's going to make its rounds. Also, after I, I heard that story, I heard let sleeping dogs lie. This person dogs you out, let, let them lie where they are. Because I'm telling you right now, karma going to spin that block. And I mean, it's going to spin it real quick, real quick and real fast, okay? So let's get into it as far as the names. It could be names, street addresses, a place of employment. Names could be first, middle, last, and also locations. So we have Amy, Michael, Dylan, Scarlett, Steely, Holland, St. Louis, Missouri, Tom, Patrick, Kenny, Simmons, Jeff, Walter, Claire, Amanda, Fox, McDonald, or Donalds, or someone's first name could be Donald, okay? So let's get into this reading. Very interested to see what's happening here because the energy that I feel is very powerful, is very strong. Um, <laughs> and I feel like I feel it so strong because that karma that I keep telling you guys is going to come in and make his rounds, I feel like it's very near approaching for this person. Also for this place of employment, okay? If this person, I'm telling you right now, they, they promote somebody else after they told you that they were going to promote you, this person either A is going to quit their position because it's not going to be what they thought it was going to be, or this person going to be doing a shoddy, I mean shit job in that position, okay? And I'm also seeing like if there's a company where there's certain quotas and things like that, something's going to plummet with stocks, something's going to plummet with this job. You know, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm getting it also. You can't do dirt and think that your life going to be clean. Mm -mm, not going to happen. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot, Cancerian energy. And we are literally a day away from cancer season. So I feel like moving forward into cancer season, you're going to be looking more so forward to healing, moving forward, going into the next journey, because you know it's time. I feel like also, you know, Cancerian energy, that's water. On an emotional level, there's there's forward movement on an emotional level. You guys are getting ready to heal. You are thinking about your future, your destiny. Because if you look at it, she's looking towards the future. If you notice right here in the background, she's left these pyramids, you know, the pyramids, which could be considered her home. So someone could be leaving a home that they shared with someone that they fought for in a divorce or some type of separation. This also could be a place of employment. Again, the chariot is moving away from it, not towards it. So you guys are going in a different direction, ready to heal, ready to, you know, go to the next level is what I'm getting. Okay. So, yep, moving on. So it's interesting that you have the chariot, okay, which is Cancerian energy. Then you have the six of swords and cancer season does start in June 6th. So you guys are moving on. I definitely feel like that's the case. Um, some, I'm also getting some ideas of the sneaky during Gemini season in June as well. And you are, um, you got hip to it. You've been made privy to it. So we're going to go through the deck until we get the sun and the moon. And then we'll get the card that comes before. And then the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both of those cards for the collective. Hmm. Yeah, karma about to do some, it's about to do its thing. I can feel that very strongly. Ten of swords, stabbed in the back, let down, betrayed. That's what I'm saying. Like if, if you have been betrayed, because this, I'm getting an energy of betrayal. You got to let it go because guess what? And you heard what I said from the beginning. Why are you holding on so tight? You have to let go to grow. Do you see how everything in this card is like that, that blue and, and it's almost like drained and exhausted, but you have these flowers growing, blossoming around him. Just when you feel like everything is done and over with, just when you feel like you can't do anymore because he looks like he's unalive or he's, he's no longer with us. This could just be exhaustion. Okay. You can feel exhausted, you can feel tired, you can feel like extremely overwhelmed with everything that has been piled up on you over the past couple of years or months, but there's growth around you. And that red, those red flowers make me think about fire. There's, there's going to be a new fire 
surrounding you. See how the, fl the flowers are, are surrounding him? There's going to be a new, um, like a fire surrounding you that's going to tell you, get up. It's not over. Get up, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck again. We want this to look at that. Didn't I say get up? It's not over. Strength card. Leo energy. Leo season, July, August. And I did say something about seven, right? July 7. It's not over. Get up. So again, we want the sun and the moon and the cards that come before and the cards that come after for the collective. Here's the sun. So right in front of the sun, look, at look who want to peek out in the very back, the devil. So that's why I said somebody did something shady. There's some shady stuff going on here. It could be involving Capricorn or something that happened in Capricorn season, January, um, December, January time frame. And I did mention Aquarius because Michael McDonald is an Aquarius and that is also in January. So January could be a very specific time frame for a lot of people here, okay? So right in front of the sun card, you have the six of cups. Okay, you have the six of swords, you got the six cups. Now didn't I say you had the, the chariot, chariot's cancer, cancer season starts in June 6th. Tell me right now, something is going to happen in, um, during June, during cancer season for a lot of you all. Walking away, eight of cups, walking away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. The next three weeks, there could be some strong realizations here, okay, and then some abundance. I'm telling you, some, something's going to play out, and it's going to play out in your favor, but you got to let go, you know, because he's walking away. He's walking away from things that had him stuck emotionally because cups is your emotions and feelings. You have to let go. There's also something very significant that could play out during um, the full moon and cancer season. As you see, he's looking at that full moon there. Something could play out around that full moon. Now, it's interesting because there's three cups spilt over. And I always say three days before, during, and three days after the full and new moon, the veil is thin. Like, you see things clearly for what they truly are. So, something around the full moon and cancer season. Look up um, and see what day that starts. Because I feel like things are going to become clear to you. There's going to be like some type of aha moment, spiritually, emotionally, physically, where you realize, okay, it's time for me to take journey. If you notice, he has his back turned towards the past. Anything, your back is facing, that's the past that's behind you. So he's definitely leaving something behind, and he's moving on. And, and the fact that he's looking up at the moon, I feel like that full moon energy is really going to affect a lot of people. And it's going to take you in a direction of growth and expansion. I love this energy. The Ace of Pentacles, all Aces are a brand new star. And the Ace of Pentacles talks about something brand new coming into your life that's going to make you feel more stable, more abundant. Okay? I'm also going to tell you, as far as that workplace, if you leave this workplace... I'm telling you right now, they're going to regret it, and they're going to try to offer you more money. You see how huge that pinnacle is? They're going to try to offer you more money, okay? So we also want, look, see, I can't make this up, y'all. Look at this. The tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and then what's right behind it is the four pinnacles. Now, that four pinnacles, I always say, if you look at him, he does not look trustworthy. So it's like this person could try to offer you more money so that you won't leave, okay? Also, I feel like you could have been dealing with someone who, like I said, once they got their money up, then the tower, they hit you with the tower, some unexpected situation where either they put you out of a home that you guys shared or they left a home. Um, it, it had a lot of greed associated with it. There were some greedy moments. There was some greedy energy. Selfish. He looks greedy and selfish. Really look at his energy. So this person did something out of greed and, and selfishness, but did not tell y'all. You guys are watching. I'm not pulling any cards. Karma. This is karma getting ready to be delivered. This person felt like they could do all this shady stuff Karma is about to swoop in and tackle that ass. I'm telling you right now. So we want the moon and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay, so here's the moon. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody going to pay. So you have a four of wands, marriage, long-term commitment. There's a family structure here. So a family structure could have been um, affected. It's interesting also because you have these two cards here. There could be um, children involved here. You got two children here and there's one child in the middle there. So definitely could be involving and affecting a home life associated with uh, children. It won't apply to all, but I did get that. You get the moon, and then right behind that, you have the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. A, a lot of you all, remember I said, why are you holding on so tight? Look how he's holding on. Release that wand unless you're going to use it to pull yourself up. That's exactly the energy that I'm getting right here. Someone could be dealing with someone whose birthday is in September, or this could be your birthday in September. Also, you could be a life path for a person in your nine. And then also, I want to say that the nine is right before the ten. Nine is like, okay, you're getting ready to go through this new transition. Some of you all are in transition of healing. I always look at this in a more so positive way. He could be saying like, okay, stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'm on my, I'm on my knees. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I can't do anymore. I always see him using this wine and driving it into the ground so he can pull himself up. He's a knight. He's a warrior. They don't give up the fight. 
And I feel like that's what they're telling you. Also, don't give up on the fight on yourself. You have to keep going. Wands is action. You have to keep going. Look at this. And then I tell you, karma is going to come in for somebody. Do y'all hear what I'm saying to you? Karma, somebody's about to pay some karma and they don't even see it coming. They, some karma is going to be, it's going to be delivered so swiftly. I'm telling you. Also, with the justice card, you have Libra energy. And Libra season does start in September. You have nine right here. So it could be a September Libra who has strong fire in their chart. doesn't have to be. I just like to put those those that information out there. And also, I want to let you guys know, because I told you I would try to do better at remembering to let you guys know, I will be doing the last and final discount reading sale on Friday, June 23rd. Um, it'll start at 8 o'clock in the morning, and it will end at midnight. Okay, I'm only going to do 11. After I get 11 orders in for that, it will be done. I will post it on community section here. I will also post it on my Instagram both the stories and the feed. And if you don't have my Instagram information, it's in the description box below. Again, it will be posted by 8 a.m. And then it will be, um, I'll be done by midnight, okay? So again, that will be for June 23rd. That will be my very last discount reading sale of the month, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm also gonna say with this, it's like, I feel like a lot of you are going to be on your power, regardless of what your astrological placements are. You're going to be in your power, feeling stronger, sword up is yes, sword down is no, making definitive decisions about what it is you're going to do. Because, see, this king knows what he or she did. You know, this person knows what they want. Put it, apply it to whatever resonates with you. They know what they want. And you see how he's sitting here on the throne very calmly. But if you look at the face, the face is very serious. So I feel like you're very serious about your forward movement. You're very serious about your healing. I feel like I'm, I'm really getting, I keep looking at this energy here. Somebody, I feel like the one thing that is like making someone really, really angry in a situation, especially if there's children involved, somebody hates the way that someone played the children. Like if this person is, you and this person are no longer together, it's like, okay, if me and you aren't together, that's fine. But why take it out on the children? I'm getting like, that's, that's what's making someone really hold on to it. And it's anger. And as you, you guys know the saying, like you can't drink poison and think that it's going to affect the other person. The only person who's going to be affected by that poison, which is hate, anger, rage, is you. That's part of the deck. So you got the lover's card, Gemini energy. So again, I'm going to say this could have happened in Gemini season for someone. Also, so yeah, you got two energies that are associated with Gemini. And then also, um, so this could be Gemini time frame, which we are currently still in right now as I'm doing this reading. Um, but, and this could have happened, you know, earlier on in Gemini season, it could be involved in a Gemini, but also the lovers talks about needing to make a choice and a decision. And then I say, he's going to make a definitive decision. He or she, somebody's going to make a decision about what it is they're going to do to move on. Let's see what's up under here. Then I say to move on. You guys seen I was not moving cars. I'm telling you, fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. Aries Aquarius energy. Yeah. To move on. And I did say Michael McDonald happens to be an Aquarius. So something definitely could have happened in Aquarius season for someone for sure. Or involving Aquarius, sun sign, sun or moon sign, individual. Okay, and now I just heard sun, moon, definitely Jupiter. Someone could have felt like, okay, I, I felt weak. I didn't feel like I had the strength to move on, but you're going to. You will. You gotta let go of something. Hold on to it. It's not going to help you move forward. Nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. Upright, this is someone who is in the darkness. They're in the dark night of soul. You guys are coming out of it. You got a nine and a nine. You're right now in, in the path of healing. You're getting ready to do some healing. I feel like right now, because you have these two nines back to back. Let's start with the moon, because you guys know the moon is that past energy, and the sun is the brand new day. So let's start with the four of wands. Let's get a clarifier for the four of wands associated with the moon for the collective. Clarifier for the Four of Wands. Marriage and long-term commitment. All these cards flipped out, but they face down, so we're going to keep shuffling. So the Four of Wands, okay. Wow, you got the Death card. So you have to put it into something. It has to end. It's time for you to move on. Did we not have the Six of um, Swords in this deck early on? They're saying it's time for you to move on. And I'm going to say again, you got these two children. Well, you have two children here, one child here, and if you notice right here, there's a child. For some of you all, like I said, you held on, you stayed in a situation, you kept... Allowing that energy to pretty much have a lot of control over you, possibly because of a child or children. But it's time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to see this. You have two children here, a child here. There's a child here, and then you have two children here. So for a lot of you all, children have been a factor in why it has been so difficult or hard for you to move on. 
You may have stayed in something that was unhealthy. If you notice here, her head is down. That, that gives me energy of shame. Like, I don't want to be here, but I have someone else to think about outside of myself. I, I recently said something in the last um, Gemini reading, the collective reading for all the Geminis. Um, and I said, like, when people stay in relationships thinking that they're doing something positive for the children, that's not necessarily healthy. And someone in the comments said, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, something <laughs> something like that. Like, this person told me I need to check myself. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I said in the very beginning, I'm not, I'm not in support of families breaking apart and, and falling apart and not having union and not being together. Because you are absolutely correct. A two-parent household is the absolute goal. Okay, most children are born out of a union of love, or at least initially that's how it began, right? So I'm not against that. I absolutely would support that ten toes down. But what you can't do is stay in a situation and be miserable and think that you're doing the family a favor because you're not. Because if they're saying you're miserable all the time, they don't see love and affection in the home, they don't see a healthy union, then how is that benefiting them? Don't tell people to stay in a relationship that they're absolutely miserable in and there's abuse and there's all types of stupid, crazy stuff going on. Don't say stay in there for the children because how do you know that your next person, your next soulmate can't come into your life and become that, that other parental figure that is showing all this love and showing growth and, and is amazing with your children? How do you know that that's not the case? Stay in something because it's two incomes or because that's the children's mother or father and everybody's unhappy, no, that's not healthy. I don't care what anybody says. I, I, I don't care. That's not healthy. Like I said, we have many, many soulmates. So how do you know that this next person's next soulmate is not the one that is meant to help you raise your children to help raise a healthy family structure? So again, I do not take back what I said. I mean that wholeheartedly. Because no one is meant, we're not meant to just come here, work, pay bills, raise kids. We are meant to have moments of enjoyment as well. And if you don't enjoy your life, then no, you cannot live your purpose effectively. So I'm going to say that and be done because whoever said that, go ahead on with all that. If you want to live miserable, by all means, but that's not fair to your children. That's not, that's not fair to this person who's your partner. That's not fair. Some people are meant to be vessels to give birth to certain children with a certain person. That's true. And I know there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of people who religiously, you know, like my grandmother, she was a Jehovah's Witness. Her and my grandfather didn't live together for years, but they stayed married because in her religion, it was said like, if you divorce, then your children will suffer. Not just because they didn't have two families, you know, two parents in the household, but they would suffer because they would take on their parents' debt. So she, they stayed married and things like that, but they were not together for years. They weren't, you know what I'm saying? But, and so they, again, everyone has their personal opinion. I'm not here to affect anything that anyone says, but I feel like everybody knows common sense is, if you are not living happy, you're not living healthy, and I understand the thing about sacrifice, but you're not going to be the only one who's sacrificing something if you do stuff like that. Again, I always uphold family structures. I'm huge. Anybody who's been on my channel, I'm huge with family. I, I'm big on family structures, okay? Me and my children's father, we work immaculately together. <laughs> Peaceful. That's, that's the homie. But some people are not meant to be together. That's just it. You are meant to be a vessel to bring these children into the world and things like that. There's always different types of comic contracts. Everybody's contracts is different. So to assume that you should be miserable, your family's going to be miserable too. If, if it's like things that just can't be worked out. So I'm just going to say that. And, and I say this to say, there's a situation that has to end. You have to let this go. Okay. Because look at this. These children are suffering. This child is suffering. Do you understand what I'm saying? There could have been a loss of a father figure, like physically or like just in the household. Because I'm going to say this again. Look at these. Look at these dang on parents. She's miserable. He's miserable. They're not even looking at each other, but the child is happy. Or so it seems for the moment. But here's the thing. Children are very energetically intelligent. They're very intelligent energetically. So they always pick up on stuff. Even my children was telling me things like that. Like your, your children pick up on this stuff. So you're not doing them no favor by staying in a toxic environment. Again, if this is a toxic environment, I'm not just saying like, I'm bored with this person. I, I want to leave and I want to be single. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if this is a toxic environment, why would you say that? That's crazy. Anyway, so you have the nine of wands. Let's get a clarifier for the nine of wands associated with the moon. And see, the way I was just bab babbling on and going on, I'm telling you right now, for someone that this is the situation where it's love and it's work. And then you have to make some type of decision about what you're going to end and what you're going to deal with and what you're going to move forward with. Also, with that death card, there could be a Scorpio involved. Okay. You see, I landed right here on that Six of Cups. Let's see. Hmm. There has to be a decision made. Somebody made a decision 
and upheld a certain decision, I'm going to say again, because of children. A source, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. Somebody wanted the children to have a better life. Again, I support that. I get it. But you also have to do what is aligned for you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Because if you don't have your mental faculties in order, then how can what can you give to others? Okay? But I'm, I'm going to tell you also, with this energy, I feel like you will be moving on. You will have victory and moving on from a situation that has had you bound. Someone has been bound by a situation. Also, if, if, if it was with all these children, 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 you know, with all these children right here and they're all right in this area and there's three, someone could have three children with someone. Someone also could have a child whose um, birthday is in March. The father's birthday could be in March also. I'm just getting that for some reason also. There also could be a Taurus involved here. I know this is Scorpio, but I'm looking at this energy here. He looks like the Hierophant, so there could be a Taurus involved in the situation. Or something could have happened in Taurus season. Whatever the case, there's going to be healing for you guys. This is a card of victory. Taking the sword in your hand, taking matters into your own hand, moving forward with it. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the Six of Cups associated with the sun. Clarify for the Six of Cups. Okay. And you've seen that flip up. We got a card that flipped up here immediately. So you got the Four of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords is pull back, retreat, go within. Distancing yourself, needing to take a break. Of the four swords, three are over this person. The three of swords is um that sadness, sorrow, grief, depression, heartbreak. You guys are coming out of that. There's healing here. Someone may have been going through this type of heartbreak and sorrow for the last four years. There also could be a four-year-old involved as well. Bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords, indecision, not feeling very confused about what decision to make. So a lot of, for a lot of you all, this is a lot of mental stuff. You have mental here as your clarifier, mental here, clarifier. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of swords. Feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Again, I feel like someone made some decisions to, and I just heard burnout. Somebody's burnt out. If you look at how he's laying there, like someone feels burnt out. Some of you all may be doing everything for your children alone. This other person won't support, won't help. You feel burnt out. I'm also getting someone working multiple jobs or thinking about getting another job as well. Um, if you see how she has a sores across her heart, across her chest area, like over the heart, like I said, someone is like detesting and saying like, I refuse to ever love again. I, I refuse to allow myself to be open to love again because I've, I've dealt with this and I'm still dealing with this and it's heartbreaking. But guess what? I'm telling you right now, Karma is about to swoop in, not just for this other person, but you as well. But I feel like your karma is going to be positive. Your karma is going to come in the form of victory. Keep in mind, that's Libra energy. This could be Libra energy also. Some of you guys could be seeing things play out for you in a very positive way in Libra season, specifically in September. Because if you notice, this is the clarifier for, you know, the Nine of Wands. You guys going to have some type of victory come in. If there's some type of court proceedings, because this could be court as well. Okay, hearings and things like that. If you have some type of court proceedings, it's going to go in your favor. You're going to have this victory, specifically in Libra season, okay? If it's not Libra season, something that could happen nine months from now, and I know this is a long time, but something that could happen nine months from now, you're going to have some type of victory. Also, if there was some type of legal stuff that you were going back and forth with over the course of nine years, that's going to go in your favor as well. Because for some of you all, I definitely feel like this has been a long, long ongoing situation here, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the Eight of Cups clarify for the eight of cups and don't forget like i said the last discount reading of this month will be on the 23rd of june okay eight of cups let's get it okay and it landed right here on the moon and the um nine of wands you guys have the king of cups in reverse so this is somebody who's emotionally detached someone who could be emotionally manipulative that's what i said i was picking up like there was some emotional manipulation in the situation for a lot of you all could be done with a water sign can't spice Scorpio. You do have Scorpio right here, Major Arcana, so that's a definite. Um, then you have the King of Cups. I feel like, again, you're knowing that it's time for you to walk away, but right now you may be in energy, or for a long period of time, you may have been in the energy of like feeling like you couldn't really get your bearings, like you couldn't get your footing in this world on an emotional level because of something that happened. And I, again, for a lot of y'all, it has to do with relationship. If you notice, there's a ship, relationship, behind him. You got to reverse. So this could be a relationship that ended. Also, I'm going to say again, this could be the workplace. This could be someone who's who's like a manager, supervisor, is a water sign. Again, Cancer by Scorpio. 
because kings and queens are like managers, supervisors, team leads, things like that. This could definitely be someone who is a manager that you were really fond of, but you feel like, okay, you kept telling me. And you may have stayed there because you know how certain people have like their work coworkers. Like, you know, if, it's, if you go to work and you have a certain team there, you know you're going to have a good day because you guys enjoy just company and things like that. And it makes the day go by smooth. You may have been really fond of this supervisor, team leader, manager, or somebody like that. And this person kept promising you like, okay, there's going to be growth. There's going to be expansion. So you stay because you trust this person. You like this person. You guys had that work, you know, relationship may even have kicked it outside of work. Like you guys know each other's family and things like that. And that that's what made you stay for a lot of you guys. But now you realize like, okay, cause this is a realization. He's looking up at that moon. There's a realization here. Like this person was been, has been pulling my leg the whole time. They haven't been offering me anything. I haven't seen anything that this person has been telling me I was going to receive. It's time for me to move on. But some of you guys, you will definitely, and I'm just looking at how you have the eight right next to the, the sun. And the sun is Leo. Leo season is July, August. You got eight here, August. Some of you guys may be leaving a position or a place of employment in August. This is very interesting. Also, I'm also hearing that somebody has a team lead manager, someone who's in a position of hierarchy and power in a workplace. This person is emotionally unstable also. And I'm hearing that this person is a liar. This person may have promised this uh, certain position to multiple people. Like, this person is a liar here. Okay? I'm just going to be real with you. Somebody's a liar. And they're an emotional manipulator as far as the workplace. And again, I'm going to say as far as a love interest, even if they're not a water sign, I feel like this person was emotionally... Um, Something with this relationship was emotionally toxic. You know what I mean? Maybe possibly because you have this right over this energy. Their communication style was toxic. You see how the source pointing up to this person? Source communication and mental. This person could have been verbally abusive, mentally abusive. It's something toxic about this person's nature that it just made it unhealthy for you and the children or child. Again, if there's no children involved, this person may have talked to you like or treated you like a child or small. This person wanted dominion over you and things like that. Whatever the case, I'm going to tell you right now, there's victory to be had. Cause, but something has to end. You have to let go of something. The death card is letting go. Something is done. Something is over with. And that's what I'm getting here for you guys today. Very much so. Okay? So thank you guys, as always, for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. Until next time, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.